This is by far the most hyped non-alcoholic drink of 2020, but does it live up to the hype in 2021? Let's find out. Wherever you are on the sober spectrum, whether you just wanna cut out your three-day hangovers or you wanna be a little bit mindful about your drinking, I welcome you to 0% AF. On this channel, I'll be reviewing all of the 0%, zero-proof, non-alcoholic drinks that I can get my hands on. Now, I haven't drank since July 10th, 2016, and today, I'm drinking Gia. So before I get into this video, I do wanna say that it is pronounced Gia. It's not Gia or Gaia or Gahaya. It comes from the Italian name for Gia, which is spelled and pronounced Gia. Gia was founded in 2020 in Los Angeles, California by Melanie Masserine, but the spiritual origin of the drink comes from the Mediterranean. You see, Melanie used to spend her childhood summers on the coast of the Mediterranean. In many countries on the Mediterranean coast, they drink alcoholic drinks before meals and after meals. Or if you're like my Italian family, you also drink during the meal. Drinks consumed before the meal are called aperitifs, and drinks consumed after the meal are called digestifs. Well, aperitifs are things like Campari and Aperol that don't get you too buzzed, but they do allow the conversation to flow a little bit more freely and maybe open up the palate. And it's from this aperitif culture that Gia was born. I bought this bottle of Gia at Broom Street General Company in Silver Lake for $33 plus tax. It is available in over 30 states at the moment. And if it's not available in your state, you can check the website and have it shipped directly to you. One bottle of Gia is 18 ounces, which is about seven ounces short of a typical liquor bottle. So this is pretty pricey if you go by the cost per volume. So let's take a look at the bottle itself. I absolutely love the design of the bottle. I think it's super chic, super simplistic, very minimal. The cork top has a really cool feel to it. Let's look inside the bottle. There's definitely some shimmering sediments going on in here. There are different levels and layers. Label I read is inspired by an old school sign that you would see hanging off of a building like a liquor store and I can definitely see that. The gold foil in the corner is a nice touch. The back label is a really funky cool shape and it says we're a drink to remember. Gia is a collection of social tonics inspired by Mediterranean aperitivo culture. Our magic ingredient, potent extracts of natural nervines, heady herbals, blithe botanicals. Everything inside our bottle was created to soothe and stimulate and is meant to bring out the best version of you without numbing the night or the next morning. And I love it when these companies call out the negative effects of alcohol. There is no positive way you could spin a hangover. Recommended use, enjoy spritz or in a cocktail of your choice. Ideally with friends and really good music. We like ours chilled after opening, store in the fridge and drink within three weeks. Let's check out the ingredients. The ingredients are water, Riesling white grape juice concentrate, gentian root extract, yuzu juice, lemon balm extract, fig concentrate, elderflower extract, acacia, orange peel extract, rosemary extract, ginger extract, fruit and vegetable juice for color, potassium sorbate for preservatives. Vegan with no sugars added, no artificial flavors. This is a natural product and will settle. Hold the cap, give it a shake gently before serving. Now the nutrition facts, there are 20 calories per serving, zero fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, four grams carbs, three grams of sugar with 0% added, so I'm guessing that is from the fruit, and zero grams of protein. Today we'll be drinking Gia three ways, four if you count neat. We'll be doing a Gio and tonic, a Gia and ginger beer, and Gia and Topo Chico. According to the user reviews on the website, Topo Chico is the way to go with Gia, so that's why I picked that one. All right, let's get this cracking. Like it went together very nicely. The color is very dark. I mean, it looks thicker than grape juice, It's but it's not tomato juice color, which is good. We have our bar measuring cup. Let's go ahead and measure out two ounces of Gia. The smell is not too strong. I'm mostly smelling ginger. I definitely smell a little bit of that orange peel extract, yuzu. All right, and let's pour some tonic. Measure out two ounces. Here is Gia and Tonic. Cheers. Wow. This is really good. The taste is extremely complex. Let me work through the taste a little bit more. 
it's very bitter. The color is very pretty, I will give it that. Wow, so this is just so bitter. I am tasting some citrus in there, almost if you bit into a really tart and sour grapefruit. I'm sure it's a mixture of all those citrus flavors in there that kind of give it that grapefruit flavor because grapefruit is not in this. For being so bitter, this actually goes down pretty quickly. Wow, I can't believe I just drank this whole thing. Again, just really bitter. There is that citrus, but it's not like an orange citrus. It's more of a grapefruit. It's a little bit different than the citrus that you're used to. Obviously, I love the Gia and tonic. Let's go for the Gia and ginger. Back with a rinse and a fresh cup of ice. Let's get this Gia and ginger going here. Today, I'll be using Bundaberg. It's a very, very decent ginger beer that you can find everywhere. Okay, so we'll do two ounces of Gia and we'll do two ounces of Bundaberg. Bundaberg. Here is Gia and Ginger. Cheers. Okay, this is fantastic. I like this one even better than the tonic. The spice of the ginger beer adds a whole nother level to the Gia. The Gia is already complex in its own right. There are so many different levels of flavor with the bitterness, the tartness, the sweetness, and the ginger beer just adds that spice on top. I think that it works so well with the ginger beer because there is ginger in the Gia. So it doesn't really overpower anything, just that ginger spice is on the top. Wow, now this one is so good. I would say overall that this one is more of a sipper. This one is not as easy to take down as the Gia and Tonic. This one is definitely for somebody who loves the Negronis or something bitter. Well, we're two for two so far. I'm gonna go enjoy this off camera and we'll be back for the Topo Chico. For this last drink, I want to mimic an Aperol Spritz, so I'll be using a tall glass. And we'll measure out two ounces of Gia. And we'll get that Topo Chico going here. We'll just pour in until we feel like it looks pretty enough. That's good. Wow, look at those bubbles. And I have a bit of orange peel. We'll just kind of do that thing that they do. This is Gia and Topo Chico. Cheers. Yes. Yes. I can see why this is the fan favorite. The Topo Chico really works well with the Gia. The Topo Chico lets it shine. It tastes almost exactly like an Aperol Spritz. It's light, it's refreshing, and it has that bitter taste that makes you feel like you're drinking an alcoholic beverage. Wow, this is fantastic as well. We've tried all three mocktails. Now let's try Gia straight up. Again, it is so crazy to me how weak the smell is compared to the taste. The taste is way up here, and compared to other botanicals and non-alcoholic drinks, this one barely has an aroma. It smells really good, but it just doesn't have that really strong smell that you get from other non-alcoholic botanicals. So this is Gia straight up, cheers. Wow. It is so so bitter, but that bitterness works so well. It extends that flavor so long. I feel like I could taste every flavor individually because it lasts so long because of the bitterness. I taste the citrus. I can taste the fig. I can taste the elderflower. I can definitely taste root. It is so bitter. Woo! So let's get to the ranking. And I think it's no secret here what I'm gonna rank it. I will rank it a 10 out of 10. No, on this channel, we will go to 11. I am ranking Gia 11 out of 10. They knocked it out of the park on this one. All three drinks that I tried all tasted completely different. It's gonna work for different occasions. And the thing that matters most to me is that it will replace an alcoholic beverage. Personally, I liked the Gia and ginger beer the best, but I could definitely see why the Gia and Topo Chico appeals to the masses. It's just so light, refreshing. It just makes me think of summertime. So yes, Gia does live up to the hype. I would recommend it. I'll be drinking it. Hey, but that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think about Gia in the comments. Are you gonna try it? Have you tried it? Do you like it? If not, just hit that like button and please subscribe. I got more non-alcoholic drink reviews for you. Thank you so much for joining me here on 0% AF. I honor your non-alcoholic journey. 
thank you so much for joining me on mine. We'll see you next time.